We just spent $700 to buy every Minecraft LEGO set that was released in 2023. It is not Christmas, but everybody likes receiving gifts. We are opening and assembling each LEGO to make a real life Minecraft world. Starting with the first two LEGOs. Let's unbox them. I get to grow some pumpkins in the pumpkin farm. And that seems like a cool axolotl house with some underwater mobs. Let's open them and put them together. Wait, what? Okay, that's a new thing. A mangrove boat with a chest. This year I think LEGO released the coolest LEGO sets ever, because there are many houses and cool builds of animals. Not like the previous years where we had many cave LEGOs that I thought were pretty boring. But we just finished our first two LEGOs in about half an hour. Leftover bucket. And here is the pumpkin house I built. As I showed before, here is Steve in a chest boat. Then we have a new Minecraft mob, the frog. It also has a witch on the outside. But the pumpkin house interior is nothing too special. My axolotl house is small but cute. But even cuter is the dolphin. Then there is drowned and the scuba diving Minecraft guy. When I open to see the brain of axolotl, we find the living space instead. There are also the smaller axolotls but also this tiny, tiny axolotl in a bucket. The boxes go away and our first two Legos are complete. Here is my next Lego and a Lego for you, Lauri. This time I have a special tool for opening. Let's open them. That was so much easier. And this is what I'm building, a sword. And I got the panda. Let's put the Legos together. There was this cool ally I got to make. And I built the thing too. I just have no idea what it's meant to be. Look at my sword. Too bad that it's halfway broken. This panda lego is looking to be really cool. I thought it was going to be small, but that's not true. And it took us just over an hour to put this together. Here is my panda lego where we have the big boy himself, but then also a medium and a small boy. When we flip over the big boy, we can see to the inside where we have three floors. But the best feature is this. Remove the bamboo, put him on his legs and flip up the head. Now we got the panda on his feet. That is really cool. My sword lego is awesome as well. It's got some cool mobs and players, including the ally I showed before. And a tower that you can explode away. And you can actually lift up the whole lego by just holding on to the sword. And those were the two legos that we can add to our collection. But we have lots of more legos coming up. We picked the smallest ones now. Let's open them. I got the small zombie brick heads. And I got the small llama. Let's open them up. This llama even has a brain. Mine has just a dirt block. I don't know. Both of the brick heads are here and ready. You know, these are actually a really cool decoration piece to put on your shelf. So that's where they are going, onto the shelf. Let's take the next two packages and see what we can find. Okay, I'm opening it really carefully. I have the end arena, which is small but has a lot of cool stuff. 
and my carefully opened LEGO is a bee cottage, which is already halfway open, and it had new packaging that I have never seen before. You know guys, this is probably the most special LEGO for us, because here, for the first time, it has a shulker. It's a lot of fun putting these Legos together, and the time just flies while doing it. After we finished the two Legos, we had already spent over two hours. But let's take a look at what we have just built. Here is my small end arena, which has my favorite item, the Shulker. Just kinda sad that I can't keep the Shulker open. The arena can shoot the fireball, but also open this lava pit, where the fighting players can fall into. And this is my bee lego. We have some bees spinning around the tree. A happy bee, a angry bee, but also a huge bee. Pop open the wings and you can see the small area on the inside. But I know what you're thinking. Can this bee fly? The answer is no. Another two legos are ready and I really like the variety of legos we already have. This collection looks really cool. With the next Legos, I want to be really careful with opening. But not for you, Lauri. Thanks, I guess. But let's open them up. Wow, this is exciting. I got an ancient city Lego with the warden. I don't know why, but my box is damaged. But this is what I got. A frozen village. have some extra time, so time for an extra Lego. It's the curd Lego. And I already completed my Lego. You're supposed to open it and use the bricks, Lauri. Ah, I didn't think of that. After I completed this ancient city, I have a special surprise for you guys that will upgrade this Lego to be even cooler, hopefully. But first, let's take a look at what we built. This here is the ancient city Lego, and the warden can jump out by turning this lever here. Very scary and spooky. It also has a tower which collapses into many pieces. With all the shriekers and details it has, this Lego is one of my favorites. Then the guy in the full netherite armor, and of course, the warden himself. My frozen mountain doesn't look very special compared to the ancient city, but it has a guy in illegal emerald armor. TNT that explodes the ice wall. The creeper still survives. On the back side, you can see a small base inside the mountain, but that is pretty much it. The other lego that I put together was this Alex Brickheads lego. Pretty cool, or actually I have two of them. But here is the surprise. We bought the lego lighting kit for this ancient city lego, which is supposed to add a lot of cool lights and make this thing glow. And here is everything we got. Let me figure out how to add them and I can show you what it looks like. We figured it out and added all the wiring just like the instructions asked us. Now just plug it in and maybe turn off the lights too. Oh wow, now you can see the effect of this. Imagine just having this on your shelf with all of those lights. It is such a unique upgrade. And we actually have one more light up kit for a Lego set coming up later on. Lego number one, Lego number two and Lego number three goes onto the shelf. Oops. This is the current collection of 11 Minecraft Legos. And it's time for the final ones. We have the last three Legos. Which are the biggest Lego sets we have. Let's open them. Time for an ASMR opening. Ah. 
After I did some ASMR and opened my Lego, I got the huge iron golem. There are a lot of pieces and I'm really excited to put this together. I opened up and got the crafting box 4.0. This is not my favorite, but it's got a lot of pieces as well. There is a whole separate book just for people and small decoration pieces. But I have to choose which build out of these two I make. I think I will go with the cat house. These are definitely the biggest Legos in this collection, since it's taking us the most time to build them. And I can already see that the Iron Golem's hands can be moved. Actual moving part. Hello. That's a really handy feature. Since my cat house got finished, I get to open the last and final Lego, until Robin finishes the Iron Golem's head. Seems very difficult to build. After a total of 4 hours and 49 minutes, I finished the last one. What I built was this cat house Lego. It's got a lot of cats and their own tree to climb on but also a really scared creeper that can explode and reveal us this emerald ore. On the back of the cat house we have some interior space and a roof that is hard to remove. Like really hard to remove when using just one hand. And that's about it for this lego. But I put together this small one too. We got this frog, zombie, a small slime boy and a huge TNT explosion. So that is the Iron Golem Lego I finished, and it's definitely not small. We got some cool characters like skeleton horses and a charged creeper. Must have been a crazy lightning storm. But when we turn around the main guy, we can see the living situation. It's got some beds and workbenches, but here comes the coolest part. When we are taking apart these towers and split them into two, and then remove the iron golem's body, we can build a standing iron golem with tiny legs. How amazing is that? This is truly one of the coolest legos. And the final light kit is also for this lego. Let's go ahead and wire up the redstone. Are you ready? Tada! Here is the Iron Golem Lego with some additional lights. Do you like how it looks? Because I definitely do. So these were the final Legos and take a slide onto our shelf. We made the layout a bit better and this here is the final result of all the 14 Legos put together into one Minecraft Lego city. It took us about 5 hours to build them all and our favorites are definitely the ancient city and the huge iron golem. Our favorites also happen to have the light kits, which make them even cooler looking. I think it's also fun to show all the small characters and animals we got this time. There are a lot of them. Comment down which lego was your favorite and subscribe if you should do more lego videos. See ya! Bye!